And as the new school year approaches and more districts like CMS opt for remote learning plans, there's an urgent effort underway to make sure all students have access to both devices and the internet. In Mecklenburg County, around 10,000 families don't have a home-based computer and 19% of homes don't have internet access. WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Daly has been looking into this today and discovered nonprofits are stepping in, hoping to help close, close those gaps for a lot of people. Ashley? Yeah, Fred, and just today, CMS said that together with the CMS Foundation and One Million Foundation, they expect to distribute 16,000 Wi-Fi hotspots by the start of the school year. But for other kids, like kids in foster care, their need is greater. Some say raising children takes a village. In Charlotte, the nonprofit Youth Villages is just that. Youth Villages is really just an advocate for kids, especially youth that are aging out of the foster care system. Its Life Set program specifically supports kids aging out of foster care, offering guidance on how to apply to college or find a job. Foster care can be a tough road, and so they're trying to work through mental health stuff. They're trying to get back on track with school because a lot of kids in foster care have jumped from school district to school district, so that already puts them a little bit behind. Fearing remote learning could force this group of kids to fall even further behind, jeopardizing their chance at college or finding work. Youth Villages is expanding their annual Backpack Heroes campaign. And in addition to school supplies, is this year also asking for donations. So if they need a laptop, we're working to provide those. If they need a Wi-Fi hotspot, we're working to provide those. Um, another worry that a lot of our counselors have is tutoring. Something as big as a laptop or as small as a backpack, all with the ability to change a child's life. White out! <laughs> I've always wanted white out! A lot of times when kids move from place to place, they don't have anything that is theirs. And so a backpack to them symbolizes like a little bit of security. Now, even though students won't actually be going back into the classrooms, Youth Villages says they're still collecting school supplies, saying they're actually needed now more than ever, saying that before students could rely on the school or maybe sharing with friends for those supplies. But they say now that they're at home, things like pencils or calculators are just as important as Wi-Fi. Reporting live in Dilworth, Ashley Daly, WCNC Charlotte. So true. Ashley, thank you for that reporting.